You can't paint it as a standard friendship because that it is... It wasn't a standard friendship. It was a friends with benefits. Like, what the fuck is that all about? Hello, I'm Ryan Mark, and you may remember me from The Apprentice. I've had face-to-face <laughs> -face arguments with Lord Sugar. I don't think eating with my ex is going to be an issue. I met Oscar when I was working in Gucci and Harrods. His personality was really infectious. We really got along. But when I started getting really busy with The Apprentice auditions, the whole communication just broke down. I liked about him his sassiness, his sense of humor. I didn't want to push it further because he was too young and I simply didn't want it to be there as a parent figure for him. After The Apprentice, the response from him was a bit cold. I'm totally angry with how things were left off. I want to get an answer in terms of why it failed. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, delicious. Ooh. It's a great place. I know, it's exactly what I, I really wanted in terms of, you know... Over the top. Luxurious. Smug. Lux <laughs> luxurious is the word you're looking okay, for. Okay, okay. Oh, fantastic, thank you. Why were we never official? For me, all I saw is just friends going along, having fun, and that's it. We were doing everything together, mm -hmm. being intimate in, you know, in different ways, and you, it makes me laugh that you're just saying that that equated to nothing. That is... I didn't say it, nothing. Bullshit. You can't paint it as a standard friendship because that it is... It wasn't a standard friendship. It was a friends with benefits. Like, what the fuck is that all about? I don't even understand where that's come from. What do you mean? That is hurtful, actually, for you to just dismiss it and label it as I that. I didn't dismiss it. There was friendship. I feel like Oscar is being really insulting. I just don't get why he can't be honest. It's upsetting. Why did you U-turn on our relationship? I didn't U-turn. In the beginning, it was great, contact every day, and then it was just a really instant turn off. I know there's something that he isn't telling me, and it's about time that we speak about it. I checked you many times on your Instagram, you completely ignored my messages. From my point of view, mm -hmm. <laughs> I genuinely thought that there was nothing left. You were meeting people. I were, so what? We were I'm not boyfriends. Saying... We were in a couple. In my, but you're not appreciating, in my eyes, it was. You painted that picture to yourself. You really think I'm that delusional? I do. Okay, thank you. I'm starting to get annoyed that he is not listening. <sighs> when is this evening gonna finish? Not yet. I'm feeling so angry. Have you grown up? I'm, I mean, I don't even know how to approach that question. Sometimes your behavior was a little bit childish and I didn't want it to be there to parent you. You can't label me as being immature because I wasn't immature. You picture yourself that you are this perfect guy and I'm this bad guy. <laughs> I'm Come not. On. I'm not saying that. Give me a break. The fact he completely turns everything on me, it just shows that he doesn't want to take responsibility whatsoever about anything. Is it hired or fired for us as a couple? I think it's fired. However, I would love to stay in good friends, keep it in touch. I don't even know how we can go forward, really, even as friends, because... You don't think we can be friends? What is the point? Fine, I'm not, I'm not going to force you. I just feel he's ruined everything. You misled me in the past with this false relationship as a couple. Absolutely. You can deny all you like. There wasn't even a one you thing I lied about. You can't deny that you have led me down a path mm -hmm. to disappointment, and that was it. I led you there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you've just admitted it, oh, so thank you. I'm sorry. OK, now you're being patronising, and that's rude. Oh. OK. I think then the conclusion is... Mm -hmm. That's it. You go off 
and don't talk to me again because this is not going to work. Okay, fine. It was a lovely evening, though. The food was great, actually. Yes, it was. Shame about the company. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Thank goodness this dinner is over. It wasn't really what I was expecting, simply because Ryan wasn't open to hear my story. I had high hopes this talk would actually provide closure. And I think it has closed this door, but then it's done it in a really negative, nasty way. And that is a real shame.